students today i am going to teach you derivative of parametric function now look at this so for what you have seen y is a function of x or x is a function of y thereby we could find out their differentiation now here the case is like this x is a function of some other function t parameter so similarly y is a function of t so this t we call it as a parameter parameter so now see here x is a function of t y is also a function of another function of t but what we are interested in dy by dx so but what you have to do you can differentiate the x with respect to t what we will get dx upon dt that is nothing but a plus of t similarly when you differentiate y with respect to t you will get dy by dt what is that d dx of t now what we are interested in dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to dy by upon dt whole divided by dx upon dt that is ultimately g dx of t upon f dx of t now we will do the problems you will understand and how to do this is called parametric functions so now we will do next exercise 1.4 see exercise 1.4 first step find dy by dx if x equal to a t square y equal to 2 a t now this is very simple so see here x is a function of t y is also a function of t so now this is a parametric function so how to do it first of all x equal to a t square so what we want derivative of x with respect to t so a into what is the derivative of t square with respect to t 2t expression formula so dx upon dt equal to 2a t now what is y 2a t So derivative of y with respect to t equal to two a is a constant. What is the derivative of t with respect to t? One. Therefore, dy by dx equal to dx dy by dt upon dx by dt. So two a upon two a t. So one upon t is the answer. This is how we have to do parametric function derivatives. Okay. So we have to at least such seven eight sums we will do. Then you will understand better. Second sum, x equal to a cot theta and y equal to b cos theta. See now here x is a function of theta, y is also a function of theta. So what is the parameter here? Theta. So now differentiating x and y with respect to theta. So x equal to a cot theta. So what is the dx by d theta equal to a into? What is the derivative of cot theta minus cos square theta? So minus a cos square theta. This is dx by d theta. Now what is y b cos theta? So derivative of y with respect to theta equal to b into. What is the derivative of cos theta? Minus cos theta into cot theta. So minus b cos theta into cot theta. Now what we want dy by dx equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta. So equal to minus b cos theta cot theta. Upon minus a cos square theta, so it is equal to minus b 
cosec theta into cot theta upon minus a into cosec theta into cosec theta. So b by a cot theta. What is cot theta? Okay, we will write cot theta upon cosec theta. Now dy by dx equal to b by a. What is cot theta means what? See, we will write like this. Cot theta means what? Cos theta upon sin theta. But what is one upon cosec theta? Sin theta. So b by a cos theta. Here one upon cosec theta equal to sin theta. And cot theta equal to cos theta upon sin theta. This is how you have to do this sum. Now next sum we will do it. These are all very very interesting sums actually. Now third sum we will do. X equal to sin theta. Y equal to tan theta. Now differentiating x and y with respect to theta. x equal to sin theta. So what is the derivative of x with respect to theta? What is the derivative of sin theta? Cos theta. Now y equal to tan theta. What is the derivative of tan theta? Sec square theta. That's all. Now, what is the dy by dx? Dy by d theta into upon dx by d theta equal to sec square theta upon cos theta. Now, sec square theta into one upon cos theta. Sec square theta into what is one upon cos? Sec. So sec cube theta because one upon cos theta equal to sec theta. Followed. It is also very important, sir. Now next, sir, we will do. x equal to a into 1 minus cos theta y equal to b into theta minus sin theta ok so differentiating x and y with respect to what is the parameter what is the parameter here theta so now we will start a into 1 minus cos theta. So dx upon d theta equal to a into a. What is the derivative of 1? 0. Minus. What is the derivative of cos theta? Minus sin theta. So you will be getting a sin theta. Now y equal to b theta minus sin theta. So derivative of y with respect to theta equal to b into a. What is the derivative of theta with respect to theta? 1. What is the derivative of sin theta? Cos theta. Therefore, dy by dx equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta. So equal to a sin theta. Sorry. A theta. Sorry b into 1 minus cos theta upon a into sin theta. But what is 1 minus cos theta formula? 2 sin square theta by 2. 
and sin 2 theta equal to 2 sin theta cos theta or sin theta equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Now you are going to use this here B in the what is 1 minus cos theta? 2 sin square theta by 2 upon A in the what is sin theta? Look at this 2 sin theta by 2 into the cos theta by 2 so it is equal to B in the 2 sin theta by 2 into sin theta by 2 upon a into 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. 2 to cancel sin theta. So B by A. What is sin theta by 2 upon cos theta by 2? Tan theta by 2. Because sin upon cos is turn. This is turn. That's all. Is it interesting? <laughs> yeah. Now next step. Find dy by dx. If x equal to cos x square theta, y equal to cos cube theta, at theta equal to pi by six. Pi by six. Pi means what? One eighty degree. That means one eighty upon six. 30. Okay. Now what we will do is differentiating x and y with respect to theta. Okay. So x equal to cos x square theta. So this is cos x theta of the whole square. X raised to n formula. dx upon d theta equal to a n into x to the power n minus 1 into derivative of cos theta. So it is 2 into cos theta into what is the derivative of cos theta? Minus cos theta into cot theta. So it is equal to minus 2 cos x square theta into cot theta. It is equal to dx by d theta. Now what is y? Cot cube theta equal to cot theta the whole cube. Again x to the power n formula. dy by d theta equal to 3 into cot theta into derivative of cot theta. It's equal to 3 into cot square theta into what is the derivative of cot theta minus cos x square theta minus cos x square theta so it is minus 3 cot square theta cos x square theta now what we want we are interested in dy by dx so dy by dx equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta equal to minus 2 cos x square theta into cot theta upon minus 3 cot square theta into cos x square theta minus minus plus so 2 see 1 cot theta 1 cot theta cancel 1 upon cot theta what is 1 upon cot theta or you can write it like that also no issue 1 upon no dy by d theta is what oh so I have written away ok now what is the dy by d theta minus 3 cot square theta cos x square theta upon 
माइनस टू कोस एक्स स्क्वायर थीटा इनटू कोट थीटा दिस विल गेट कैंसल दिस विल गेट कैंसल वन कोट थीटा सो थ्री बाय टू कोट थीटा इट इज यूअर डीए बाय डीएक्स बट वी वांट डीए बाय डीएक्स एट थीटा इक्वल टू पाइ बाय सिक्स सो थ्री बाय टू कोट पाइ बाय सिक्स That is three by two. What is cot thirty? Root three. I think hope you understood. Now it is like normal. We are finding the derivative, and finally we are putting the value of theta as thirty. So thereby we will be getting the answer. Now next one. Similar way we can do one more sum. See x equal to a cos cube theta, y equal to a sin cube theta. Find dy by dx at Theta equal to pi by three means sixty degree. One eighty upon three sixty degree. So differentiating x and y with respect to theta. First one a cos cube theta equal to a into cos theta the whole cube. So dx by d theta equal to a into x raised to n formula. 3 into cos 3 minus 1 into theta into derivative of cos theta. So 3a cos square theta into what is the derivative of cos theta minus sin theta. Fine. So you have got dx by d theta. Now y. Equal to a sine cube theta equal to a sine theta the whole cube. So what will be the derivative? A into x raised to n formula three into sine square theta into derivative of sine theta. So three a sine square theta into what is the derivative of sine theta? Cos theta. So dy by dx equal to dy by d theta upon dx by d theta. So equal to 3a sine square theta cos theta upon minus 3a cos square theta sine theta. So one sine theta, one sine theta cancel. One cos theta, cos theta, 3a, 3a. So minus sine upon cos. That is tan theta. Now what we want? We want derivative at theta equal to pi by three, sixty degree minus tan pi by three. So minus. What is the tan sixty? Two three. That's all. Now next step we will do. Is it? Is it also? Easy, yeah. Now next step. If x equal to e to the power sine three t and y equal to e to the power cos 3t show that dy by dx equal to y log x upon x log y it is very very important and interesting sum okay so we will be doing that now solution x equal to e to the power sin 3t 
Now see, x is a function of t and y is also a function of t. Okay. Now so parameter function. Now taking log, log on both the sides. Taking log on both sides. So log x equal to log of e to the power sin 3t. So log x equal to sin 3t into log e. Which formula I use log t raised to n equal to n log t. But what is log e? 1. Log x equal to sin 3t into 1. Therefore, log x equal to sin 3t. Now we will differentiate. What is the derivative of log x? 1 upon x into dx upon dt equal to what is the derivative of sin 3t? Cos 3t into derivative of 3t. So, 1 upon x dx by dt equal to what is the derivative of 3t? 3. 3. So 3 cos 3t into 3. That means 3 cos 3t. 3 cos 3t. This is 1 by x dx by dt. Now what we will do? We will take another one. y equal to e to the power cos 3t. Taking log on both the sides. Similar way. Taking log on both sides. What you will do? You will operate log rather. Log y equal to log of e to the power cos 3t. So log y equal to cos 3t into log e. But what is log e? Here log p raised to n equal to n log p. For my use. What is log e? 1. So log y equal to cos 3t into 1. Now you differentiate. What is the derivative of y? 1 by y dy by dt equal to minus sin 3t into derivative of 3t. What is the derivative of 3t? 3. So, minus 3 sin 3 t. Now, what we want dy by Now, what we want is derivative of y with respect to x we wanted. Okay. So, now here we will see here also dx by dt equal to 3x cos 3t. We will write. Here also dy by dt equal to minus 3y sin 3t. Therefore, dy by dx equal to dy by dt upon dx by dt. So equal to minus 3y sin 3t upon minus 3x cos 3t. Cancel, cancel. So what you got is y sin 3t, y sin 3t upon x cos 3t. Now look at this. What we want, what is? What is 3t? See here. 3t here. It is equation A. What is 3t? Log x. What is cos 3t? Cos 3t. Here. Somewhere here we will have yes. What is cos 3t? Log y. So from equation A and B. So we got the result. That's all. It's a very simple and interesting sum. Now we will do next sum. Next 
सिस्टम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये x इक्वल के t प्लस वन अपॉन t माइनस वन एंड y इक्वल के वन प्लस टी अपॉन वन माइनस टी अपॉन टी प्लस वन देन शो दैट y स्क्वायर माइनस डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वट इज दम एक्स इक्वल टू टी प्लस वन अपॉन टी माइनस वन वाई इक्वल टू वन माइनस टी अपॉन टी प्लस वन नाउ सोल्यूशन नाउ एक्स इक्वल टू टी प्लस वन अपॉन टी माइनस वन नाउ वाई इक्वल टू Now y equal to one minus here one minus t upon t plus one. This how I am writing one upon t plus one upon one minus t. Can I write? See this I have written. See this one upon y. I will turn like this. Can I write like that? You check it up. Yes, you will get the same thing. One upon one into inverse. Same thing you will get. Okay. So now what I am writing is so one upon this minus. I will take it out from here. So t plus one upon t minus one. So minus I have taken out from here. See if I take minus outside, it will become. This is minus t will become plus t plus one become minus one. So it is minus. What I am getting? One upon t plus one upon t minus one. But what is this? Check it. It is x. It is minus one upon x. So y I have taken. I proved it is minus one upon x. Cross multiply. x y equal to minus one. So now differentiating with respect to t. So U V method x into derivative of y with respect to x plus y into derivative of x with respect to x equal to derivative of one is zero. So x into dy by dx. Plus y derivative of x is one equal to zero. Therefore, what you got now? X into d by dx plus y equal to zero. But what is x? See here x. What is x? Minus y. See here x d by dx equal to zero. From one, where is one now? X y. We got it here. Now see here. Look at this. What do you got? X d u by d x plus y equal to zero. Now, what is x we want to see here? What you should get? Y square minus d y by d x. So here, what we can write is minus one by y d y by d x plus y equal to zero because from one. What is x minus one by y? See here. So that I will tell you. Okay. So now we will take LCM. So minus <coughs> dy by dx plus y square equal to zero because we are multiplying with y on both the sides. Y into minus one by y dy by dx plus y equal to zero y. So it will be cancelled minus dy by dx plus y square equal to zero. Therefore, you just multiply with minus. So dy by dx, or you can say y square minus dy by dx equal to zero. See in the order. Over. So this is the Yeah, it is also very interesting sum. Now we will be doing some more sum.
in the next lecture okay